Welcome back to the Morgan Trials. This time we're gonna try a new beverage for the spring. And by the way, there's gonna be a bunch of new alcohol taste tests coming up. This is one of the first ones. It's faux pas. It's partnered up with the podcast Betches. I had never heard of Betches until this, but apparently it is huge. They've got millions of followers, multiple Instagram and TikToks and all that accounts. So it's really cool. But these are cocktails, so unlike a hard seltzer, this is literally vodka or tequila mixed with fruit juice to make a cocktail in a can. A couple of these I'm excited about, a couple of them Stacy's excited about. I'm excited because they won't taste like seltzer. Yeah, so <laughs> what's really cool, these each have some like cool little sayings. I mean, they're kind of fun. It's all about the faux pas out there. What is a faux pas? This is a faux pas. Um, all right, so with that, which one do we want to start with? Let's just start. Left, right. All right. So this one is lemon and mint vodka soda. Yeah, as and we natural talk about, flavors. Yeah, as we talk about that, these are about eight percent alcohol. So these are sneaky. Think about that. That's that's about twice that of a regular beer, and about twice that of a seltzer. Um, <laughs> these are real tequila, real vodka, gluten free, and no artificial flavors or friends. Mm. I don't like lemon for the most part. I do like Sprite, so we'll see how this is. All right, that smile says Stacy loves this. All right, let's it see. It tastes exactly like something that you have come to like. Oh my God. It's a mojito. It's a mojito in a, in a can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is like a mojito. It tastes good. But that lemon almost. The lemon helps with the mint. Yeah, that's like a mojito with it, lemon. The mint's not overpowering. Best served cold, like a K. Text. Don't do that. Don't just say K. Tell a little bit more. All right. Next, we're going to what is this? Bartlett Pear Vodka Mule. Okay. So another vodka. Yeah. Aromas of ginger and fresh Bartlett Pear open up into the bold yet balanced city of telling your life story to your cab driver. You cool. have a tendency to do that. I'm personal. Oh, it smells fruity. Mmm, that's good. I couldn't even tell you what a pear tastes like. Smell it first. Smells fresh. Yes. S smells, smells like, it would like be a sweet. pear and sweet. It is. It is a little sweeter. It's not for me. It tastes good. That's just not for me. Yeah. That's not my taste. But then again, I don't like a uh, Moscow Mule. I don't like ginger. This doesn't taste like a Moscow Mule, No, though. but I taste the ginger. You can taste it, but it's not... As overpowering as most Moscow no, meals. No, 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 no. The pear really comes through, and is it's a sweet pear. Okay, that one's great. Mm. All right, just keep things going. Next up, we're going to the two that I'm excited about, which is grapefruit orange tequila soda, mm -hmm. which, let's see. The tequila and soda is infused with hints of fresh grapefruit, mandarin, and lime with subtle notes of tagging everyone in a picture that only you look good in. Listen, grapefruit's a big flavor people like, so let's see. Okay, that's good. Oh, smells like that smells like a ruby red grapefruit it just does. got squeezed in there. It also tastes like it. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's got that like uh that sweet tang of a ruby red grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. But it's got like the sweetness from the mandarin on the back side of it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It tones down the grapefruit just enough. So it's not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have a, your face. I'm gonna have a hard time deciding between these and high noons. You're not. I I'm know not. where you're I going. I don't like. I know where you're going. But I'm excited. I have something to drink now, <laughs> other yeah. than high noons. All right. Now for the one that Stacy's really excited about. I have these other three to wash it down. With. All right. And so as you may have seen, if you've seen our hot sauce challenge, Stacy has a slight aversion to hot things. Meanwhile, I always get a spicy margarita when we go out. So I'm excited for the spicy mango margarita. And this one is a spicy margarita has complex elements of fresh mango with hints of peach okay. and just the right kick of responding to everyone's Instagram story as if it were personally directed at you. I also don't like mango a lot. All right. So this is made just for Stacy. Right? So, so I'm actually going to let her try it first. Oh God. I'm or do you want me to try it first? No. Okay. It doesn't... It smells good. There we it go. It smells like mango. That's not spicy. Not spicy? 
It's got like a, a... No, it tastes spicy. It tastes spicy, but yeah, it's not like a burn your mouth like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting like kick at the back of the Just, throat. Yeah. No, no that's it, smooth. It tastes spicy. But it's not. It's It tastes like it would you, be a no, spicy mango. There's a little, mango. There's a little something. No. I didn't get... I don't know. Okay. I actually got that a little bit. I know when you get a spicy margarita, it hits you like right here going down. Okay. I can taste that, but it, it's fine. That's, it's not hot. It's just got it's a... It's got good flavor, though. Oh, yeah. There it is. In the yeah. Back, your back of your throat. The back That's of your right throat. That's right as, it, as it's you It's down swallow. your throat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this That's isn't, interesting. This isn't where you don't like the heat, like up there at the uh, top and burning your mouth. Burning my no, mouth. No. You feel it going down your throat with like little peppery hits. I like it. Yeah. And the mango it's is very toned. It's not my toned. favorite. Yeah. Toned. Now, see, for me, these are... Switch those two, and these are in order of my what I like this one probably best. The grapefruit second, this one third, and this one fourth. But this one's just not for me. These are great. Um, these are it's running. In my order. These are roughly about uh, thirteen dollars for a four pack. Listen, you that's cheaper than getting this size of a cocktail, and that's what this is. This is vodka, tequila, fresh juice. You just don't have to pay a bartender and tip them to get the cocktail, but it's already there. Mm. Put these over ice. Mm. Like put these over ice in a cocktail glass. This would be great. Yeah, it would. All right, so there you have it. Um, check out. Ask your local uh, retailer whether it's a liquor store or if you can buy something this strong in your grocery store. Ask them, do they have this? This is amazing. Um, what do you think? I love. All right. Looks I'm like excited. We'll be stocking these at the bar. All right. So there you have it. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing. Let us know what you think about these. What cocktails do you like? What should we try? Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.